So we're going to open SketchUp. And what SketchUp is is a really simple, simple modeling tool. Um, we're going to create a series of rectangles and lines and shapes. We're going to push and pull them to make 3D objects. And then we're going to add materials and lights to them. OK, so we see our screen. Across the top, we have a series of toolbars. And across the left side, we have a series of somewhat similar toolbars. And if your screen doesn't look similar to this, you can go up to View and Toolbars and make sure Large Tool Set is set to Active. And you can choose the other ones as well. Um, in our, our main modeling window can be um, basically orbited and, and moved around with the scroll button of the mouse. And if I hold down the scroll button and move the mouse, it makes you rotate our view. If I hold down Shift and the scroll button, we pan our view. And uh, we can see that we have an x-axis marked by the red line, a y-axis marked by the green line, a z-axis marked by the blue line. And we have a person. OK, so let's get started drawing. Um, from the left toolbar, I'm going to click on the Rectangle tool. And I'm going to click from the origin and move my mouse out. And what we can see here is we have lines that define a plane. And as soon as I click, actually before I click, at the bottom of the screen to the left, we have uh, it's labeled Dimensions. So right now we have a, a rectangle 22 and some odd feet wide by 17 feet tall. Um, I can actually type in there 24 feet without um, clicking in the toolbox. I automatically type there comma, 18 feet, and I have a, a rectangle 24 by 18 feet. And before we move ahead, um, I actually want to change our style. Um, you can see we actually have fairly thick lines that mark the edge of the rectangle and sort of uh, bleeding corners over at the, at the corners. Uh, so I'm going to go up to the window, pull down, and choose styles. And it's in here where we can sort of modify our view. And what I want to use is simple style which, as you can see, is, is easily the, the cleanest one. If I go over to edit, edit though, I can actually modify how, how these, um, I can make my own style, essentially. If I click on some of these other ones, you can see the difference between shaded and shaded with textures, which actually they all look fairly similar for us right now. But I'm going to choose simple, and I'll close the window. OK, so we have our, our rectangle. And uh, I'm ready to extrude this to make this a, a three-dimensional three box. And so the, the command for that is called push, which is this little icon over here. And as soon as I bring my mouse over my plane, you can see it turns to sort of dotted. Um, and that becomes the active uh, surface. So I'm going to click in there and hold down the mouse and, and just sort of drag it up. And as I do this, you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, my distance changes. And obviously, I, before, I, I can either click here and, and leave it, or I can actually, without touching the mouse, type in six Let's, let's make it four feet, and hit enter, and I have a, a four foot tall box. Um, and, and I can hit escape. Escape doesn't do anything, but uh, the space bar actually ends the command. And you can see I go back to the little arrow. Um, and if I want to test out how big this thing is, uh, in our toolbar, we have a tape measure tool, which um, can be abbreviated with the T. And I can click on the corners. And before I click again, you can see I have a little icon next to the tape measure. And down in the bottom left hand corner, I have the four foot. So that's fine. I'll hit escape. Um, and you can also tell what we have here. Uh, we actually have a, a person in there, in the way. So I'm going to move her out of the way. I'll just select her, um, choose the Move command or type M. And I'm going to click anywhere and move it around. So you can see that when I move my, my cursor somewhat parallel to an axis, uh, the, the color of that axis um, becomes active on my, on my cursor. And I have a little uh, piece of text that tells me what axis I'm on. And so I want to move her directly to the right or to the left. So I'll just move her over. Let's say I'll, there is fine. OK. Now, before we move on, um, we should also take a look at how we're viewing our box. Um, up at the top of the screen, right in the middle, um, we have these series of uh, seven cubes. Um, the first two determine whether these objects are ghosted, which is right now we're seeing the x-ray version. Next to it are, shows back edges, which shows our box with dotted lines in the back. And then we have wireframe. And we have sort of wireframe dashed. We have shaded. And then at the last time, we have shaded with textures. We don't have any textures on yet, but we will later. The last five are unique, where the first two are basically toggled on and off. So right now, we're solid without back edges. Now back edges are on.